everybody, it's Oscar Sketches, and today we're opening up another scroller box. Okay, I know I'm a little behind on these, uh, and this is probably the October box. I don't know, however. It's uh, it doesn't say on the outside, <laughs> but I am very excited to see what is inside. So um, my prediction is because it's probably the October box is that we're going to get a lot of inking supplies, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, no, it's the September box. So probably not inking supplies, but I am curious. September. Oh my goodness. I'm late. Oh, I'm seeing Posca pens. Oh, oh, that's cool. I really like Posca pens, so that's that's gonna be fun. Neat. Oh, that's an interesting fine liner. Four point six. Oh, yes. Oh, that is very cool because I really enjoyed this one, uh, and it looks quite similar. Especially in shade, look at that, it's almost the same colour. <laughs> but that is cool. Uh, my, I, uh, as you've probably seen already, uh, if you've watched all my other videos, <laughs> uh, I'm currently working on a comic, so it'd be cool if I uh, could use this one for inking. I hope it's nice. And a pen? That, that's not a pen, that's a pencil. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll see myself out and a drumstick, rhubarb and custard. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> some curious flavour. Yeah, so that's it. Did I miss anything? Posca pens, Posca pens, fine liner pencil, and ooh, there is marker paper. Oh, that's cool. This is really thick paper. This is not at all what I call marker paper. Very cool. It's very glossy. Oh, I'm I'm super curious to see how this works with the Posca pens. Oh, how cute. So this is the featured artist. I'll uh, have these links in the description. So definitely go check them out because this seems like really fun artwork. Ooh, I am very curious as to how this paper is going to work. Got a little cute, cute little booklet. This is cool. I quite like this art style and it works really well with the Bosca pens. Nice. Whoa, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, Treebeard. <laughs> is that? Yeah, that's Treebeard. Um, nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to create some cool artwork with this. I don't know what to do though. Maybe the prompts can inspire me. Character creation. Well, um, yeah, that narrows it down. <laughs> no, okay. Maybe these colors. Mm, do they remind me of a character? really <laughs> hmm okay I'll, I'll think about it it's gonna be cool let's take a look at uh, what I've created <laughs> future sauce take it away <laughs> all right past us here we go <laughs> uh, okay so uh, I thought about it a little more and then I remembered where I'd seen these colors before because I wasn't so sure how I was supposed to use them because they were all the same value. Basically, if you were to use them uh, all in one piece, uh, it would look very muddy because there wouldn't be any contrast. But they did remind me of something. And then I remembered I had seen this before in a game that I loved to play when I was, when I was younger. And guilty pleasure, I still love to play it now, <laughs> um, because nostalgia is so like, powerful, we talked about this in the last scroller box video I think, um, but I uh, drew 
Skylanders, because um, coincidentally the uh, first three Skylanders that you get with a uh, when you buy the first game, uh, I think, um, are Trigger Happy, Gil Grant, and Spyro, and they are exactly these colours. So I thought, oh, okay, I'm I'm going to draw these guys, uh, and I also had a kind of an idea of what I how I wanted to draw them, like in what kind of style I wanted um, to uh, to draw them in. <laughs> wow, a great voice over there. Um, Please forgive me, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to draw them uh, kind of like the, uh, what's it called, the Featured Artist uh, card thingy. I kind of wanted to do something like that. So I wanted to uh, have just a flat colour and then some really bold line art with the uh, uh, black pos Posca pen that was provided and with the line fineliner. So, uh, that's what I did. I uh, just uh, sketched all the Skylanders out and I tried to give them uh, a cool pose kind of. I, I didn't want to get too uh, dynamic but then I kind of threw that out of the window when I was drawing Spyro. But <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to make something that kind of looked like it might be a sticker because uh, the uh, you know when you do it when usually when I do such bold line art um, it's uh, to make something stand out and have a clear silhouette and what has a clear silhouette most of the time stickers So I wanted to do something that maybe could be a sticker I don't know I, I could make these into a sticker if you want to get one of these um, like send me a message on uh, Instagram and I'll make a sticker out of them for you um, But that's not what uh, these were originally for just for you know making something cool Skylander related with the supplies from the scholar box and this time I actually only used things from the scholar box oh no that's not right I did use an eraser but that that's it that's it the rest of the stuff I did use just the things from the scholar box so hey you proud of me <laughs> so it was actually really really fun to uh, to draw these because uh, I haven't drawn these in a while you know because uh, I, I used to draw them when I was younger but I uh, I think I, I think I've drawn maybe a couple lately because I I know I drew drew a couple Skylander dragons for for small gust. Um but yeah it's been it's been a good long while since I uh, actually drew any of these guys so that was really fun to revisit that part of my childhood that was so yeah I did I, I remember like playing that game for hours on end and just having endless amount of fun with it it was really one of those things that I just really 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 loved as a child um, and I still do because you know nostalgia <laughs> it's very powerful and it's uh, great to escape to a world that is so carefree with no um, hate and hurt and all that fun stuff that is going on in the world right now so yeah um, go play your favorite childhood game because fun <laughs> um, and yeah about the supplies I really really had fun using all these supplies and it worked very very well especially this paper was super awesome because as you can tell I don't know if you can tell but it worked wonderfully with Posca pens and usually when you use Posca pens they kind of like uh, eat up the paper uh, and like make the uh, kind of destroy the paper uh, but that just wasn't the case with this at all. It was like this um, paper was especially made for uh, paint markers. I don't know if it specified, but it just said general marker paper. Um, but it's really, really good with pa with paint markers. So I'd highly recommend if you like using paint markers and you're not really sure, um, you know, what uh, paper to use for them because they like destroy all the paper you use with them uh, this is a really 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 good alternative um, yeah it, it's really great and I will most definitely be using more um, uh, Posca pens because this was fun and I really like that and I love how you can get such f such great coverage with them and such lovely flat colors um, without any streaks and stuff yeah so I also cut them out as you can see here um, 
which really made them look like stickers and I really enjoyed that. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday. Have a great weekend guys and keep on sketching. Bye.